Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope everybody's doing well out there today. Uh, in this video, I wanna take a look at a uh, photo gallery uh, Docker application called Photo Show. Now, the one we're gonna take a look at today uh, is from, or has been re-released by the folks over at Linux Server. So we know it's gonna be a, a good solid container to take a look at. So I guess without any further ado, let's jump over to my desk and take a look. So here we are on their uh, hub.docker.com page. Uh, pretty basic information, information. This works on x86, so desktop or ARM, so Raspberry Pi as well. Uh, so that should be just fine. Um, and then down here, we get to the Docker Compose that we're gonna use. Uh, that I've already kind of I've already copied and pasted this into uh, into Portainer, and I've already taken a look at this. Uh, I will say that I did have to make some changes, and I want to show uh, some of those changes that I had to make uh, in order to get this to work. Okay, guys, so here we are on my desktop, and here we can see I've got this side by side thing going on, uh, so we can kind of compare and contrast uh, what we've got uh, that's the same and different, whatnot. Um, Basically, I didn't change too much other than the image here. I did have to change this ghcr.io wasn't working for me this morning. So I changed it. I just removed it. Uh, so it's pulling from hub.locker.com. Uh, the container name I left, uh, the environment, the PUID and PGID I changed uh, in order to uh, make this work with my system. So if you're not sure how to do that, uh, all we've got to do is get logged in to our server via SSH. Um, and then we're gonna just type in ID space, and then the username you use to log in to Open Media Vault. Uh, in my case, and probably in your case, it'll be admin. And right there, we can see UID and GID is uh, 998 and 100 respectively. So I've just translated that to PUID and PGID uh, right here. Uh, below that, we've got our time zone. I'm real close to Denver, so that's what I'm using. Uh, below that, we've got three volumes, one for configuration uh, for the actual application itself. Uh, we've got a folder for photos and a photo for thumbnails. Um, I originally had thumbs as a subdirectory of photos. Don't do that. It's actually, it just makes things look weird and act weird. So don't do that. Create a separate folder for each of these. Uh, and I actually created both of, or all of these folders over here in Open Media Vault. We can see config, uh, photos, and thumbs are all right there. Uh, once you've created those, if you don't see this absolute path, all you've got to do is hover over this uh, top line right here, scroll down, go to where it says absolute path, and either talk, and then toggle that on if it's not already on and then you'll get your, your absolute path that you'll go ahead and paste in right there. <clears throat> now, the next area is ports. It wants to run on port 80 by default. Uh, I changed that to 8108. Uh, and then at that point, you should be good to go. Um, and then you can just come down and click the blue button. Yours will say deploy the stack. Mine says update the stack because I've already been messing with this this morning. So uh, you, we're just gonna click that. We'll give that a second. Um, and then uh, what I've done is I've actually gone over here to this photos and I've uploaded some pictures already. So if we come over here and click this, first thing it wants you to do is create an account. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna type in admin, like so. Put in my password, click create account. Now I'm logged in and we can see that uh, these uh, five folders here are being represented right here. Um, you, can, you can just click on one of these and it'll take you to, uh, let's make that full screen. And it'll just take you to here. You can open this up. Um, and, and then you can scroll through it, uh, you know, manually, I think maybe, yep, you can use your, the keys on your keyboard if you wanna do that. Uh, it looks like you can view it full screen if you wanna do that. Uh, or you can click, um, I think that's gonna be just for a slideshow. Um, I think that's gonna be a slideshow uh, or a full screen slideshow if you wanted to do that. Um, let's stop there, oops, there we go. Uh, or we can come back over to here, we can click on other, uh, different uh, folders over here on the left side. If we go back to pictures, uh, of course, then we can access it this way as well. Uh, the other thing you can do if you want, um, <clears throat> let me find my folder over here. So this is in the root of that uh, application directory. If I were to say, just grab some pictures and drag them into the root like so, <clears throat> um, and then come back over here and refresh. Here we can see we've got albums listed at the top. And then the images that I've got in the root of that directory uh, show up as, as images themselves. Uh, so there's a couple of different ways that you can uh, view stuff in here or catalog stuff in here, however you wanna phrase that. But this is all it is. It's a very simple uh, application for uh, for for hosting images, that sort of thing. Uh, I actually, like I said, I downloaded a bunch of wallpapers from a different site. You could actually use this as a wallpaper uh, website if you wanted to, if you had a bunch of pictures that you wanted to share and let people download, you could do that. Um, and they would just come here, uh, they could open it up, then they could just click download. 
like so, and there it is. Uh, they could create uh, their own account if you wanted them to do that, uh, that sort of thing. But um, let's see. Um, so there are uh, some, some admin things in here as well. Uh, stats as far as accounts, groups, items, uh, things like that. Guest tokens. Uh, doesn't look like there are any of those. Uh, looks like you can change uh, the title if you wanted to change that. You can set the site URL, which is probably a good idea uh, if you were to use this as uh, uh, actually a hosted website on your Docker instance. Uh, you'd want to type in, you know, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash my website, whatever. Um, below that, uh, the language and the theme. Looks like there's a few different themes. You can block registration. Uh, you can force HTTPS uh, comments, uh, descriptions. You can you can have uh, all kinds of different things there. You can adjust the size of the thumbnails. Uh, you can attach this to uh, social networks. It looks like there are some uh, video capabilities here, uh, but only if they are uh, a WebM uh, as opposed to MP4 or MP whatever. Uh, .webm, I believe, is the only thing it'll support here. Um, and yeah, so that basically kind of covers everything here. You can go in and edit accounts if you wanted to do that. Uh, groups, if you wanted to create groups. Okay, so here we are, we're back on the home screen. I forgot to mention how to upload photos uh, via the website or the, the web interface versus you know doing it through uh, folders on Windows or whatever. Uh, so we come up here, uh, go to admin, uh, go to groups. Uh, by default, I wasn't, uh, as an admin, I wasn't set to be an uploader and that's fine. Um, but you should be able to, whoever, if you wanna create another account and you wanna add it to the uploaders and then click submit, uh, then what you should be able to do uh, it's come up to here, and then you should be able to just drag images over uh, from your desktop to here in order to upload images. You can make them public or private. You can add comments or descriptions, that sort of thing. Uh, but that's the process of uploading uh, images to the to the site uh, via the web interface. Um, and then back to the website. So I think that pretty much covers everything that I wanted to talk about uh, in this video. If you found the video helpful or interesting or you plan on using this, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. Helps me know uh, what you guys are interested in. Also uh, adds some interaction on the video. Uh, I know my videos don't really warrant a lot of comments most of the time. Uh, so I really do rely on the thumbs up uh, to, to help get some interaction on my videos. So uh, if you do that, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you wanna support the channel, there are a few different ways you can do that. Uh, below this video, you can become a channel member. There are a few different levels at which you can subscribe there. Uh, there's also Patreon down in the, the description as well as coffee. Uh, so a few different ways you can support the channel. If you're interested in this kind of content, you can always subscribe. That's a free way to support the channel as well. Um, also, uh, speaking of people who support the channel, I'm gonna give a big shout out to my patrons as well as uh, my uh, channel members. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, but I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.